Rondell Moore is trending up, right? This is a former second round pick last year, season cut short due to injury. And no, that was not a Rondell Moore pun. Okay. This guy is five, seven. Uh, and once again, if you go to playerprofiler.com, his profile is not his own face. It is the ant man because this is a tiny, tiny man, five, seven, 181. But last year we saw a few games where Rondell Moore was used pretty heavily. And then the cl- in the cliff Kingsbury offense touches are manufactured for Rondell Moore. Uh, last year he had five targets week one. He had eight targets week two, six targets week five. Um, he had five targets, uh, a couple other games. He had 11 targets week 11 against Seattle. So this is a player who, yeah, he doesn't have a high ceiling, but once again, he's getting usage and looking at what he did last week in week five, Rondell Moore played, uh, 91% of the snaps, 91. And he's in the slot close to the line of scrimmage. And that's what's holding up Zach Ertz's ceiling. Honestly, like I, I ranked Zach Ertz significantly lower this past week in week five, because Rondell Moore's usage was trending up, up, up. And now Rondell Moore, seven receptions, eight, eight targets, 68 yards. The usage is there. Oh, and he had two rushes, but let's forget about those because that was negative seven yards. So far this season, Rondell Moore has rushed the ball three times for negative 11 yards. Not what you're looking for from a gadget wide receiver, but he did get targets last week. And in fact, in the two games, he's been back from injury, five or more targets, both games. Rondell Moore is a a deeper league flex consideration uh, with this uh, Arizona offense, at least until for week six, until uh, DeAndre Hopkins returns from suspension. 